Hello. About uh, 10 minutes ago, about 15 minutes ago, got stopped by MNR and they uh, they asked for my status card. I was out setting snares, checking my traps with my family. As you can see, there's my daughter back there, Tia. There's one of the students that stay with us. It's okay, old. His name is Chad. Uh, Colleen is uh, holding uh, the video. So when we're out, I was out checking my snares, and this uh, MNR stops and starts talking with me and starts explaining to me that he wanted to see my status card. But this is the same MNR that stopped me yesterday, and he could have asked for the exact same documents yesterday, but for some reason he decided to ask me today. So they took a, they took my license plate down. They took my status card number, and they they explained to me that that um, that I needed permission to to hunt and trap in this area where where I live. I live in Sioux Lookout. We're maybe about mm, 20 kilometers out of Sioux Lookout at the time when we got stopped and uh, he was explaining to me that I need permission from Treaty 3 area in order for for myself because I'm Treaty 9 in order for myself to hunt and trap and to fish to basically provide for my family because this is all I got I, I don't work um, I wish I could work like I, I'm capable of working I'm, I'm not an idiot or anything it's just that uh, right now I just I'm unemployed it just happened so basically I'm providing my for my family by trapping and, uh, and uh, snaring rabbits to eat and, and right now we're trying to get a moose so um, so that's what happened anyways our conversation went on and he was stating to me that I need to go ahead and get a document uh, from the chief of council through Laksu which is treaty 3 this is that's their area their territory and they're they want me to get their signature and their approval for me to go ahead and hunt and trap and provide for my family on in this area, which doesn't make no sense to me. I think what should happen is our chief should go ahead and wake up and realize that the government is trying to divide us. I think that uh, the chiefs like should all come together and unite and say like, you know, like it doesn't matter if you're uh, a, a Bay from a Mi'kmaq and you're living way in Saskatchewan area and you're hunting over there and uh, the plains crease, they should be okay with that. Like there should be no problem with that. Just like over here, like I'm in Ojibwe territory and I'm Cree, I'm, I'm Hudson Bay Cree, like uh, pretty much James Bay Cree. And I'm over here hunting and trapping and providing for my family. Like there should be nothing, it should be, free for all for example uh, we found an old status card or we discovered an old status card that stated that we could hunt and trap and fish and camp out anywhere in North America and that's how it should be but what the government's trying to do is divide us and say that oh you need permission from this man oh you need the permission from this man to go ahead and provide for your family that doesn't even make any sense that that's just ridiculous but that's my point of view Mia. Yeah. to mention what you said to the MNR. Oh. Oh, that's what... Are you still recording? Yeah. Oh, that's exactly what I stated to the MNR. I, I told them that that, that uh, with the documents that we have right now, it states that we're allowed to hunt and trap and provide for our family and, and, and camp out anywhere in North America. And he was... He kind of looked at me with like a... Uh, like a like a grin on his face like it, it like it was it was like he was being sarcastic with his grin or something I have no idea but he was being uh, it, it didn't seem right the way that he went ahead and started acting and then he wanted me to take out my gun and ask me if uh, if it was loaded or anything and I told him I do have a gun and, and I took it out and I wasn't loaded and then they checked to see if there was any shells in there and there was no shells in there so they gave me back my gun, but they didn't even ask me for my FAC. That's stupid. You know what I mean? What did you think they'd ask me for my FAC or my firearms license? It doesn't make any sense. 
So basically, that's two days in a row. They never asked me for uh, the first day. They never asked me for no documents. All they asked me was, "Where's your trap line?" Which I stated that my trap line is pretty much anywhere. But I didn't tell them exactly anywhere because he would have been like, "Oh, he would have been like all oh, like investigating it and everything." I, but I don't have a trap license. My wife has a trap license, and uh, I just go ahead and I set the traps for her and I check the traps for her. Like if I was to go ahead and do it Chigojik way, I'd get my trapping license and my trapping line would be way over there on the other side of uh, Ontario by Capus Casing in the bush. But my family's here, my wife's here, my life's here. I'm not going to go ahead and go all the way back home and start trapping all the way like 18 hours away from here just to provide for my family. You crazy? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. I'm going to go check my traps right now though. Yeah. <laughs>